Pasadena Media is a crucial stop for a lot of travelers on their journey through life. People are able to develop skills and tune their talents all while enriching your community. But what happens after your time here with Pasadena Media? Fasten your seatbelt and let's take a trip with a couple of our members and see where the day takes us. If you've been watching this show for the last few months, then you know that our goal is to help you develop new skills and express your ideas. But what happens after that? The skills you develop here are useful long after you finish with us, and to prove it, Joe Moore is here to tell us about his trip through the Arroyo Channel. How long ago was it that you, you first got here? Uh, I started volunteering with Pasadena, woo, maybe two years ago, yeah. and I just kept showing up. Uh, doing different projects, and I finally uh, took the initiative to become a, a director, producer, mm -hmm. and did all the positions, you know, pay your dues, and got trained with all the equipment. And, um, you know, I kept thinking about, like, what, what can I do? You know, who can, who can I bring in, make a show? And I just did it all myself. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see a little <laughs> bit of that in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, how did you first hear about Pasadena Media? Uh, my... My pop, my dad, he's really into jazz. And you got a couple jazz heads that come through here. And uh, he was volunteering on something. He was like, come check this out. It was cool with me. And I, you know, I was like, all right, dad, what's going on? I don't want to see no jazz, you know. And I came here and I was like, wow, this place is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, public access TV stations, uh, they're kind of rare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd hate, I hate to say it, like, man, I hope it's not like a dying thing we hate to see that too <laughs> but it's it's amazing and the community needs it it really enriches the, uh, the community I mean it's changed my life yeah yeah I'm, I'm assuming for the better <laughs> yeah okay and so <laughs> after that initial experience it's you you came in you saw how things worked out around here and then you decided to volunteer on more shows or, or what was what was like the first show you volunteered on it was, uh, I can't remember their name, but it was uh, a music showcasing. There was a little bit of jazz singing. There were some rappers. And uh, that, that was the one my, my, my father introduced me to. And I've just been hooked ever since. Okay, and then eventually you got to a point where you created your own show. Mm -hmm. And before you tell us about it, we actually have a clip of the show. So we put it together, give everybody a chance to see what your show's about. Let's take a look at it right now. Hello, welcome to the Joe Show. Today we're going to be discussing topics in chemistry. In today's lectures in chemistry, we will elaborate with some examples. Today we'll be discussing atomic structure and some of the descriptions that you'll see on the periodic table of elements. Smell, smell. It's got seven electrons, seven protons, seven neutrons. There are charts that will help you understand the order when writing out a molecular orbital diagram. Nitrogen has seven electrons. And when filling in a molecular orbital diagram, you have to consider well, how many electrons can fill in each orbital. Lewis dot structures are really helpful when trying to help determine polarity. Back to electronegativity, which is the more electronegative oxygen, obviously. This indicates that the direction of electronegativity is in this direction. Argon is one step down in the amount of electrons from zinc. Zinc has 30 electrons, argon has 18. 30 minus 18 is 12 electrons. Once you fill up your argon atomic orbital, it stops at 3p. 12 electrons fill up to 3p. Then you fill in the remaining electrons to fulfill how many electrons are for zinc. So I need 12 more to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.
Okay, so you just took a quick look at some clips from the Joe Show, some of that stuff you haven't even looked at in a while. It's been a while since you've seen that. And one of the things, I don't know if the audience noticed, but it started off, your show was kind of, I like to say crunchy. It was a little rough around the edges when you first started it. Um, I did everything on my own. Uh-huh. And each, if you noticed, they're like each show kind of looks better. Uh-huh. Like it was like trial and error with, with, with each thing. And uh, I mean, I really got my chops in on uh, editing skills. Yeah. That's is really more of a editing project, really. So w- when you were doing that, because you, like you said, you did most of it on your own. You didn't shoot it here in the studio. So how is it that Pasadena Media and the Arroyo Channel were able to help you to develop that show from where it was to where you eventually well, got uh, it? Well, you guys gave me the tools. You know, I needed a... One thing about, you know, in this industry, especially like photography, you know, you, you get a job, they pay you, and then you got to buy more gear. And then in a yeah. few months, it's out of date. <laughs> you guys, you guys have that stuff. And uh, not only did you guys train me, but you, uh, you know, be, being inspired is, mm-hmm. is, you know what I mean? Like, you could you just put your mind to it. Mm-hmm. That's what it really was. Like, the right environment, you know, opened up the right ideas. Okay. So you went from just dropping in to visit a jazz show to creating a show that I want to say it's got really nothing to do with music, but I like to think that music is very mathematical. Uh, so, but math and chemistry, like a person walking up to you is probably not going to think, oh, this guy's going to do an educational show about math and chemistry. So where did that come from? Uh, <clears throat> I had been tutoring kids. It's, it started off with like middle school and uh, you know it's it just was something I'm, I'm good at um, and as a as a personal tutor is it's very different from a from a teacher you know mm-hmm. what I mean like uh, you're, you're, you're like friends with the student you know you're not gonna punish them like a teacher and uh, as a as a private tutor I did it for like a long time mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you have to be ready for whatever whatever subject they pull out mm-hmm. you know and uh, it's just, I'm just good with uh, so how, showing the student how to teach themselves. And how, what, what was the, the concept? Because you're writing on that board and you, you set all this up. So like, what, what was that set up? What did you do? You just, <laughs> just drop it like a thrift store and start picking up pieces of hardware? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was, uh, I just grabbed some old, like you go to the hardware store, you, you, there's like used wood, mm-hmm. it's cheap. And uh, I set like the whole wood frame up with the the pe- plexiglass was probably the most expensive thing, uh-huh. but yeah, it was all out of my own pocket. I uh, built this whole apparatus uh, in the house. Uh, it does require some space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it doesn't really. It did. I tried in the bedroom. The first the first episode was in the bedroom. It don't fit in the bedroom because mm-hmm. you got to distance the camera. Blah right. blah blah. Trial and error. Uh-huh. Uh, it was it was fun trying to figure it out. Okay, <laughs> and eventually, uh, how many episodes did you get done with that? Uh, like, what were the subjects you covered in those? I, I gave you guys like thirty minute episodes, huh? Yeah, it was full, it was full, uh, full shows. Yeah, it was about four to six shows. Uh-huh. Uh, I also passed it on to uh, the public access at Berkeley. Okay, when they they covered San Francisco, Richmond, Oakland. Uh, I stopped at Inglewood, but you know they're not as active as Pasadena Media. <laughs> We're a rare breed. <laughs> yeah, you guys are active, so. <clears throat> okay, and with the, have you done television before you came here? Was that something that you had in your skill set already? Not, uh, not behind the scenes, not as an editor or anything like that. So, like, were you in front of the camera? What you, what, 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 what you oh, doing? Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm from L.A. I'm an L.A. boy, you know, so uh, growing up, yeah, uh, I had a small acting career. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the Hollywood is contagious. Right. And um, the music in your show, where did you get that from? Uh, I had always been making music on the side. And uh, when I put the show together, uh, I knew a, a team of guys that were publishing their own music. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I was doing a lot of music videos for them. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, you know, eventually they asked me to join the team, and it was like, wow, like I've done a lot of music. So, so this was my, my first time with a record company. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I haven't been able to do the Joe show because I just uh, recorded and published an album. Wow. Yeah, but that was also a lot of fun. Okay, okay. So, so I started the show off by saying that the skills you can develop here can take you further. So, what are some of the ways that the skills you developed here have benefited you? Uh, so yeah, working here, I mean, it was all volunteer. I mean, I put my own money into building my 
crazy science laboratory, or whatever. <laughs> I had to pay my dues to, to the community in Pasadena Media, but when I finally had the nerve to go out and approach businesses, uh, like people want to say, well, what can you do? Mm -hmm. And the Joe Show was like my calling card. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like that would send them straight to look at that. And uh, you know, one client turned into another and another, and finally I found someone that needs me all the time. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so you're working. <laughs> yeah, I started my own company wow. because I got to send the clients invoices. The name of the company is Upward Artistry. Um, so if you if you go to the, the Instagram, you can see all the different businesses. I mean, I've done restaurants, clothing stores, models, whatever. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's, it started here, Pasadena Media. So let's 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 reel it back to Pasadena Media. I just want to talk about your process because you came in just as an observer. You went into volunteering. You went to all the producer, the 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 volunteer training classes for the equipment and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Then you turn into a producer, and all of this happened over the span of how long before you, before before I launched the Joe Show? Yeah, I feel like that was almost a year. It's probably like nine months. Uh -huh. I was hanging out with you guys, coming in doing the training and. I just was like, man, I'm tired of like not doing something. Uh -huh. So I just, I just did it. Yeah. Uh, and I, I kind of remember that process. And I remember after each episode, you would come in and say, look at this. How do I fix this? How do I fix that? Yeah. And, and if people go back, you can go watch this again on YouTube. Back it up to about three minutes in, five minutes in. You can see the progression of the show, how it gets better. The audio gets better. Mm -hmm. uh, you change your set and whatnot. Now, the thing with the writing, because you've got to be writing backwards. I can't. So you, you're tell writing you that. math. In chemistry, like that. back okay, <laughs> you got me on that one. That was that took was a lot of practice. Okay, and and then you speed it all up, and so that and that all comes back to the editing. You sped up the because there's a lot of writing involved in it, mm -hmm. so you sped that whole per point mm -hmm. up, per whole part up in editing. Right. Um, how do you feel about the, your experience having gone through all of this, and and how valuable was the Royal Channel? Passing Honestly, out? like I said, it, it's uh, it's changed my life. You know, uh, so I so like. You know, I was making money as a private tutor. Like, that was my own little business there. And th I had to step it up. You know, now I have a business license. And uh, it's, it's way different than teaching. I mean, I take uh, the photos of, you know, people say, hey, you look good, smile. Like, it's, you know, I don't have to deal with, like, you know. It's a new ball game. It's my own design. OK. I'm, it's, you know what I mean? I'm my own boss. Oh, uh, that's always nice. I yeah, like that feeling. yeah. No offense, boss. <laughs> I love you. Um, all right, but that's pretty much the time we have here. I do want to thank you for coming through. I'm glad to hear about your experience going through Royal Channel, and, and I hope for the best for you moving forward. And uh, you can follow him on the Instagrams and all that other stuff. Upward Artistry. So we have to let Joe continue his journey back after the break. We'll be joined by MC Franklin to find out how he livens up our Thursday nights here at the Arroyo Channel. Don't go away. Thank you. No problem. Watch What's Up Pasadena to hear local voices and learn about what makes our community unique. The Crown City has a lot to offer and What's Up Pasadena is the show to tell you all about it. Tune in this month to the Aurora Channel to catch the new show. Hi there, I'm Amaris and I would like to introduce you to Remainders Creative Reuse. We're a nonprofit centered around creating art with recycled materials. We have classes for everything from sewing to sculpture, and once a month we host a huge recycled material sale. Remainders is for everyone, from toddlers to grandmas. My mom Robin is the founder, and we work together with many generous volunteers to provide a space of creativity, sustainability, and togetherness here in Pasadena. We invite you to join us and get creative. Visit us online at remainderspass.org. Thank you for watching the Arroyo Channel, a public service of Pasadena Media. Pasadena Media is supported by the City of Pasadena and your generous donations. Thank you. Our next guest has gone through several stages in his Arroyo Channel career and is currently the producer of one of our most dynamic programs. Let's talk to MC Franklin. Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, I will, well, we'll just start from the beginning. How did you hear about us? How did I hear about you? Um, actually, it was uh, the beginning of Thursday Night Live. Okay. Jeff Hodge, the uh, other producer on the show, a good friend of mine, 
uh, invited me because he wanted to, uh, he knew I had an interest in variety. Mm -hmm. So he invited me and I came down, met with uh, Jaron and uh, Pasadena Media and that's how I became familiar with it. So you kind of got fast tracked into the, into the whole thing. I, you know, sort of, you know, he knew uh, my interest, you know, I'd gone to film school mm -hmm. uh, and we've been working together since 2001, mm -hmm. off and on on different shows. So what uh, kind of shows were they? Live shows, live, live comedy shows, shows live, live variety okay. shows. OK, so they were just in clubs and restaurants and things of that nature. OK. And so you land here with Thursday Night Live. What is Thursday Night Live? Thursday Night Live is a variety show that showcases talent. Oh, yeah? Yes, and I love it. <laughs> you love, you, I don't know. I'm, am I, I, we'll take a look at some clips in a minute. Okay. Copy this. Um, have, knowing what the show is, uh, it's, it's pretty dynamic. You, you, a, a lot of the acts tend to be kind of stand-up oriented, but it has, it has evolved and it's continuing to evolve. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that, the idea behind it is, is that it's a, uh, a growing show. Ironically, it began as kind of a, a, a learning tool for some of the people coming through Pasadena Media, learning uh, the equipment, how to use things, mm -hmm. how to direct, and how to you know, uh, be a part of production, a right. uh, productive part of production. <laughs> uh, so uh, again, to me at this point, it's, a, it's kind of a, just kind of continuing that journey, but uh, at this point, it's a thing of, of, of growing into uh, other aspects of uh, variety, you know. Okay. For instance, uh, for Thanksgiving, or this, excuse me, this recent show we shot and had a chef on. Mm -hmm. Chefs are definitely talented. They bring smiles oh, yeah. to people's faces. I love a good chef. Absolutely. I do love a good chef. <laughs> um, you came in, you were, you partnered with Jeff Hodge in producing it, and Pasadena Media was actually one of the partners early on we helped develop the show then you yes. guys kind of took it and now it's kind of your ball before we get to that though how 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 did you interact with us like you had to go through the training and whatnot and you actually volunteer on a lot of other shows so yes why you got you came in with the show why, <laughs> why do all of that well you know I think uh, I, I I work on other shows to be, get, become familiar with you know uh, the, the equipment with the teamwork you know when it comes to production it's always been my interest. It's one of the reasons I came to town. In fact, it's the main reason I came to town. From where? Uh, from Kansas. Well, I moved here from Chicago. Uh -huh. I'm originally from Kansas City, okay. Missouri. Missouri. Yes. <laughs> we got another. Yes. We got another Missourian. Who Missouri. Says the same thing. Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why we're from there. But uh, yeah, so volunteering on other people's show gives me a chance to, uh, you know, wear different hats. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, when it comes to um, Thursday Night Live, uh, we have. Uh, uh, other directors and Cliff Presence actually does more of the directing than I do. Now. Mm -hmm. okay. I do more directing on other shows. I'm trying to be a good producer. Okay. And, yeah. and passing the media is actually yeah. really giving me an Try opportunity. Try not to be the super control freak like some other people. Well, I wasn't going to. No. Okay. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> um, I know better. I know okay. better. <laughs> yeah, and you're, and you're good at it. Let's take a look, actually. We have, uh, let's take a look at some of the liveliness you can find on the occasional Thursday here at the Arroyo Channel. Let's go. So I started dating an older guy because I thought it'd be hot and sexy, like Fifty Shades of Grey. But yeah, but as you can see, I have daddy issues, so it's more like Fifty Shades of Don't Touch a Thermostat. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. And you know what I missed the most about growing up in the 90s? It was so much easier to avoid people. Like now you got Facebook, your email, your cell phone. It's just almost impossible to avoid somebody, you know? And the worst part is they snitch on you. Like Facebook says, message seen. Like, what if I don't want them to know that I've seen the message? What if I just want to avoid this person? You know what I mean? Apple says, message delivered, right? I'm like, well, how are you going to snitch on me, Apple? Ready? Let's go. This song is what my childhood was like. My daddy says to keep your girl in line. So every night my mama beats his ass. It's a short song. It's a Don't sweat it. What happens when you're spinning around so dizzy till you just can't see? What happens when you're falling, falling? 
falling, tumbling down. My guy friend got all mad. He got all bro on me. He was like, you're a gold digger. You ain't nothing but a gold digger. I was like, excuse me? Where is this gold thou speaketh of? You can call me, you know, a penny digger, a digging for copper, maybe. I date broke guys, okay? It's graduation time. Yeah, I, I have a 10-year-old, and I was thinking about it. Do they, like, have graduating for every grade now? I was thinking back when my son graduated from daycare to kindergarten. They had a graduation. Cap and gown, music, everything. And even awards. Best finger painter! I'm like, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good show. That's a good show. It, it, it looks like a lot to manage, though. Uh, you know, the, the, the cool thing about being here is that, you know, they have a, 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 a plethora of talent that, that helps out. So you have, it's like a team, you know. Mm. So so you come in. It's like actually, it's like a family here because you know people come in and they help you with your show. You help them with their show. So so when it comes down to it, the the, the talent is one thing to manage. However, mm. you know when you have the production together or the the volunteers coming in to help, it really makes it easier. Mm -hmm. You know, it really takes a lot of the, the, the stress away from, from ran, running the show. So what do you think has, well, part of it is probably it's got to be a fun show to work on. Absolutely. But uh, other than that, like, what is it that makes people, like, how do you manage the team? How do you keep people interested? Because personalities can conflict, compare and contrast, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really all about the positive, you know, nature of everything here, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody's here to do something good, so... You know, I mean, there's some uh, there's some buttholes out there, but you know, <laughs> the reality of it is, you know, people come here to get down. Okay, all right, I'll, t I'll come down here and get down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, your experience going through the training classes and whatnot, because uh, a lot of what we talked about so far is just dealing with the volunteers, and mm -hmm. those are all people who basically are going through or have been through the same process you've gone through. Yes. But with the staff, how is it working with the staff here? The staff is incredible because you know everybody. It's 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 really weird because I, I I feel like you you, you ever watch uh, uh, was it uh, Bond James Bond? Yeah. They got the is it where Q or M is mm -hmm. and they got all these experts about you know all the all these tinkerers that do things and mm -hmm. come up with stuff that you never would imagine. That's what it's like being here at Pasadena okay. Media. It's like a bunch of personalities that ex are experts at different things and the same things mm -hmm. and then it gets to a point where it's like if there's a question so tough it's actually called that's a Chevelle question <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, okay yeah there's not a lot of those like, <laughs> oh well <right>. okay <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah I think I started that <laughs> um, yeah. I've, I've never heard you say it but I've heard enough people I'm, say I'm real quick to pass a, a, <laughs> I've, I've invented some Aaron questions okay all right well so, you know different levels happens. yeah <laughs> the, everybody has a lane and I think and that probably translates well to just working with the volunteers because like mm -hmm. you were talking about you have uh, you have directed Thursday Night Live mm -hmm. Cliff's directed Thursday Night Live and you mentioned that it actually started out as a training show so it's had yes. a few different people absolutely but Part of that whole training process is learning that when you're on the camera, you're on the camera. When you're right. on the audio, you're on the audio. Everybody kind of staying in their lane. Stay in your lane. Yeah. Yes. So how, how, what do you do when somebody wants to jump up out the lane real quick? You know, uh, fortunately, I haven't had to deal with that a lot. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something that you, you cross that bridge when you get there. Right, you right, know? right. Okay, now, you, you are a performer? I do perform occasionally. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, yeah. like, which which one do you prefer? Like, uh, in front of the camera, behind the camera, or are they not separable? They they are separable. They're definitely separable. I, I I've tried to stay behind the camera, mainly because I think as a performer, people focus on you performing. Mm -hmm. uh, behind the camera is where the challenge was for me, and the reason I came to town. Mm -hmm. Uh, I used to, uh, uh, as a performer, I used to travel the, the states so that nobody thinks I was a stripper or anything <laughs> like that. Uh, but I used to travel the country, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I came here to learn about production, put together shows. And as a uh, comedian, they didn't really have the same respect for people like yourself who know what they're doing behind the camera. Mm -hmm. So trying to distance myself from performing at least long enough mm -hmm. to, you know, gain the respect of, you know, the, the PAs and people that right. help out and right, make things right. happen. 
Okay, so, uh, what's on the horizon for Thursday Night Live? It started off, it, it's basically at its core, it's kind of an open mic show. It's kind of a, a curated open mic, maybe. But right. you talk, you said you brought in a chef now, so there's definitely right. some some something directional steering. Yeah, yes. you, you're cooking up something. Absolutely. Um, Again, it, it did start off as an open mic show, and it's it's been a challenge to change it from uh, open mic to 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 a, a different direction. But the idea is that we have uh, book talent and and showcase some of the you know the fresh faces that are you know around the, the the Los Angeles area, be it from here or from wherever. We've we've got people from around the world that are actually performing our show, which is actually actually pretty a big part of the excitement about it. Okay. Uh, how important is a place like the Arroyo Chana to you and what you're trying to do? It's one of the last places that you can actually have free speech. I can't put a price on that, mm -hmm. you know, especially in our climate today, mm -hmm. you know, where, where the media has been trounced on, you know, good or bad. In the meantime, this is a place where you can actually say what you want to say. They might put you on late, <laughs> but... <laughs> late, late. You know what I'm saying? But, but you can say it. Exactly, you can say it. It's, All right. And that's important. That is important. Well, thank you very much, MC. We are actually running out of time. Oh, uh, that is all the time we have for this edition of Arroyo Profiles. I would like to thank all of the volunteers, I'll use guys, yes. who help make this show possible. All I hope you up. found it informative and entertaining. If you're interested in learning more, you can find Pasadena Media through all of the usual social media platforms. For those of you who want to do more than like, follow, and subscribe, head over to our website and you can get involved. As you've already heard, we offer training for anyone interested in learning about television production, whether you are interested in pushing the buttons or pushing your point of view. It all starts with an orientation and tour. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the Arroyo channel.